Receiving an encrypted email from a Zixmail sender is easy. We'll look at an encrypted message in Gmail, but the process is very similar in any email client. The message will appear like any other message in the inbox. The email address the message was sent from will appear in the From field or as the sender. When you open the message, you'll see a banner stating this is a secure email message. The body contains some information about the message, as well as a hyperlink to use in case the email client doesn't allow the Open Message button to be displayed or used. Click Open Message. A new page will open in your browser. This is the Secure Message Center. If the sender has enabled Zixport, this message center will have the sender's information. In this case, we're using the ZixEncryption.com message center, which is customized with our information. You'll notice that you need to register your account. Zixmail requires you to create a password the first time you receive a Zixmail encrypted message. Once you've added your password, click Register. This is the Zix Message Center inbox. The message body and attachment is now available for you to review. The original attachment is a hyperlink you can use to download the file. You can also reply to the message by clicking the Reply button. If you need to attach a file, click the Attach button and then click Choose File to open a file browser. Click Add File to add that attachment to your reply. You can send the message now or click Save as Draft to save it for later. You'll notice that there are four tabs across the top. Inbox, Compose, Sent Mail, and Draft. Select a tab to open the folder associated with that tab. We're back in the inbox now where all the messages you've received are visible. The next time you open an encrypted email, you'll simply be asked for your password and taken straight to the message. You won't need to create another password. Let's take a look at that process now. Here's another email, and we'll click the Open button again to log in to the message portal. This time, you'll notice that we're not asked to register. Instead, our email address and password have been auto-filled. Click the Remember Me checkbox to save your username and password. Then click Sign In to view your message.